Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve a particular SQL question which was asked in Swiggy's business analyst interview. So we have the table called orders and we want to get the output in the form uh, like we want to get three columns for every week I want the defect rate and the effective rate. So, so the table that we have is orders, it has Four columns, order ID is defective, order timestamp and is completed. Is defective and is completed tells us whether an order is defective and whether the order, order has been completed or not uh, respectively. So uh, this is the table and also let me define what defect rate is. Defect rate is total number of defective orders upon total number of requested orders. And effective rate would be total number of completed orders divided by total number of requested orders so what i have to do here is let's first get the week from the date so i'll use the date trunk function and i'll say that i want the week and i want it from the order timestamp column so date trunk yeah so here you can see there are three weeks 22nd of August, 29th of August and 5th, uh, sorry, 22nd of July, 29th of July and 5th of August. Okay, so for every week, I want the defect rate and the effective rate. Now what I'll do, let me call this as a CTE with CTE as. So with CTE as, um, now I want, okay, I can solve this without using a CTE also. So uh, I, I, what I want here, I want the defective rate. So I'll say case when is defective is true, then order ID else null end. Okay, and I want to count this. So I'll use the count aggregate function. Um, this I want to divide by total number of requests. So I'll say count. Uh, distinct order ID although the order ID column has no duplicates but it's a good practice to use the distinct keyword especially when we are working with huge data and the data is not clean so distinct order ID um, okay here also I'll use the distinct keyword um, okay so this is my defective rate uh, and I name this as DR uh, now I want the effective rate. So effective rate would be the same thing except for is defective I will have is completed. So I want all the completed orders in the numerator and all the requested or the number of requested orders in the denominator. Now I am using two aggregate functions. I will have to use the group by clause. So I'll say group by one and this is the week. So as week. So if I uh, run this okay there is okay i have used a column this should be er effective rate and we are getting zero as the value so i'll have to multiply this i don't want integer i have to multiply this with 1.0 so that i get the value okay and now i will also uh, round this up to two decimal places so i'll say round comma two so that it looks a bit presentable. We have almost solved the question. So if I run this, yes, this is exactly what we wanted. And this is what the output should look like. So I hope I was able to explain the question, the context properly. And if you did found this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and also like the video. Thanks for watching.